Here's a GRE arithmetic question. Let's take a look. Mavis bought seven chairs with an average price of $32.50. She returned one of the chairs for a full refund and the average price per chair rose to $35. What was the price of the chair she returned? All right, so before we really dive into the math of this, we can actually make our life a little bit easier. Check this out. So we're told that we start with this average, $32.50. Then when I return one of the chairs, the average goes up. So what does that mean about the chair that I gave back? means that it was a cheap chair, right? If I gave a chair back and the overall average went up, that means that the chair was pulling the average down and that now the average is better or higher because I returned it. So that means that the chair was cheaper than $32.50, right? And therefore I can get rid of answer options D and E right away. Nice to be able to do that just right off the bat. Okay, let's get into the, to the uh, arithmetic of it though. So we, whenever we're dealing with averages, we want to write out the average formula, which is something I call SNA. The sum of the numbers divided by the number of numbers is equal to the average. So the sum of the numbers divided by seven, because there are seven chairs, equals $32.50. Well, I can tell here how much I paid for all the chairs, the sum of the chairs. I'll multiply both sides by seven with my calculator and get that sum equals 227.5. There we go. So that's that. All right. Then we look at the second stage of the problem. I gave one of the chairs back, so now I only have six chairs. And again, with SNA, the sum of the numbers divided by the number of numbers is equal to the average. The sum divided by six is equal to 35. And so I multiply both sides by six, and I find that the sum is equal to 210. Now this gap here, the gap in what I paid for all the chairs versus what I paid for six of the chairs is the missing chair, right? How much did I pay for this missing chair? 227.5 minus 210 gives me 17.5. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.